Why do you think now is the best time to buy a home? All the prices are going up during this outrageous inflation. What's the benefit of purchasing a house amidst this war on prices, including rent? How do I save money during inflation? These are what I will be talking about in this video. You don't want to miss it. This will be a great video for you to watch, so stay right there. Hi everybody, I'm back to talk about inflation and housing market in 2022. In this video, with so much talk around inflation looming on the horizon, we'll talk about whether you need to buy a home right now before you lose your money's purchasing power or set aside your real estate needs for now. My name is Lynn Alvarez, your realtor in the Charlotte area. At first, I thought it doesn't make sense to buy a home right now because the home prices have gone through the roof. How do you really save or make money during inflation? We've got so many questions from home buyers if they need to wait out or buy now while the interest rates are still pretty low. I hope this video will shed some light, especially for those that are contemplating or those that are currently renting. Are you thinking of buying a primary home or an investment property? If you're following along with the news today, you're probably hearing a lot about rising consumer prices. The prime consumer products have gone up so much recently. ...across the country announcing a new round of price increases coming to consumers in 2022. The grocery gout... ...and increasing rent in major cities in the country. Rent prices are rising well past their pre-pandemic levels in multiple U.S. cities. Realtor.com says the medium rate rent last month is up 8% compared to the same time last year. There are also less homes on the rental market. Experts say that's leading to bidding wars. Rents are at a new high in 44 of the U.S.'s largest markets. Gas prices hit a historic high. It's crazy. The price of gas has surged 46% this year. If my next guest is right, they could even go higher in 2022. Patrick DeHaan is with Gas Buddy, which tracks prices at the pump across the country. Um, AAA Fuel Gauge says the average today, Patrick, is $3.29. A year ago, it was two twenty-five. So we've come down 10 cents, but we're still relatively high and people are talking about $4. Real estate is the best investment you can make during inflationary period. And while home prices aren't immune from this increase, here's why inflation shouldn't stop you from buying a home in 2022. Aside from stability and security that home ownership offers, there are three things that will benefit you when you purchase a home, whether it's your primary home or an investment property. First, real estate is a good asset during inflation. It is a real asset because the home's value will rise with the inflation rate and in part because it is a leveraged asset. So, with a good interest rate that doesn't change, the amount you pay for the home may not increase although the value will likely go up at the same amount of inflation and will appreciate faster. Second, the rising costs for things like food, shelter, entertainment, and other goods and services are increasing and are going to continue to climb throughout 2022, and this is beyond your control. The thing that you can control is the cost of housing. When you buy a home with a 30-year fixed mortgage, you are locked in a fixed monthly mortgage payment for quite some time. It allows you to be able to maintain the biggest portion of your cost of living and of course, that is housing. If you rent, you don't have the same benefit and you won't be protected from rising housing costs. And third, owning an investment property or a rental home generates income. As inflation rises, the costs of goods and services including real estate go up. However, if you can lock in a low interest fixed rate mortgage, then the cost of your rental home, which is an appreciating asset, will stay the same while the value of your property rises, thus generating a passive income for you. When you purchase a home with 
three bedrooms and two and a half baths for let's say four hundred thousand dollars and you put a small down payment your mortgage payment that includes tax and insurance will range from two thousand sixty five dollars to to twenty one hundred dollars per month with high demand for housing rental you can easily rent your property between twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars per month depending on the area if you have extra cash during inflation where do you want to put your money in stocks mutual funds gold cities or bonds no the best investment is in real estate while inflation decreases what your dollars can buy low mortgage rates help counteract it by boosting your purchasing power so you can get more home for your money Real estate is typically considered a stable and secure asset that can grow in value over time. I'd like to hear your thoughts about this video, so leave a comment below. The best hedge against inflation is a fixed housing cost. That's why you shouldn't let it stop you from buying a home this year. Not sure where to start? Let's connect so you have expert advice and help throughout every step of the home buying process. Contact me or my husband, Albert Alvarez, if you have any questions about the housing market in 2022. We are here to help you with all your real estate needs. Thanks so much for watching and if this video gives you some value, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Just click on our photo to subscribe. If you are relocating to Charlotte, please see the description below to get a free relocation guide. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.